It's your boy, Ranked Mountain Biking here. And before you roast me in the comment section, yes, I'm aware that the thumbnail makes me look like the Wicked Witch of the West from The Wizard of Oz. But don't worry, I'm not a bitch. I mean, witch. Excuse my French. But anyway, today I'm checking out the infamous Spider Mountain Bike Park. It's a lift access bike park in Texas, and it's the only one in the U.S. that's open all year round. And if you don't know what a lift access bike park is, it's basically like a ski resort for mountain bikes. You put your mountain bike on a chairlift, you ride the chairlift to the top of the mountain, get off the chairlift, ride back down, and do the whole thing over and over again until you die of a heat stroke because it's Texas. The only downside to this is that it does cost money, and a day pass is about 50 bucks. And in order to get the most out of my day pass, I decided to get to the bike park right when it opened at 8 a.m. and ride for eight hours straight till 4 p.m. It was nothing but eight hours of downhill mountain biking, fueled by nothing but Mountain Dew live wire and the desire to not be a filthy fucking casual, bro. Since this was my first time at an actual bike park, I decided to set my goals at a reasonable level. So my goal for today was to do everything at the bike park, including clearing all the jumps, going down all the trails, including the double black diamond trail. And if you saw my last video, you probably know how the last time I went down a double black diamond trail went, uh, spoiler alert, didn't go well. God damn it. But I think doing everything at this bike park on the first day that I got here is a pretty, pretty reasonable goal, especially since I'm on a hardtail. And my Moto Bican hardtail wasn't really designed for this kind of abuse, but I'm gonna put it through it anyway, because I can't afford a better bike. But anyways, first trail I went on is called Viper's Den, and it's actually the footage you've been seeing for a little bit, but I just haven't gotten around to shun the fuck up yet. So, this trail is a blue trail, and it's straight up mountain biking, no jumps, Super chunky, the usual Texas chunky rocks. Super fun, but the GoPro footage doesn't really do it justice because there's a bunch of trees casting harsh shadows and the GoPro doesn't pick up on harsh shadows super well. But I can guarantee you that it is really chunky. There's a lot of rocks and it did vibrate the shit out of my hands and feet going down it pretty fast since I'm on a hardtail. But Super fun trail, definitely recommend it. It's a good, it's a good place to start on Spider Mountain. The next trail I went on was a blue trail called Venom, and here is where I ran into my first slightly challenging obstacle, which was a rock garden down a decently steep hill. But the challenging part about it was that it was super dry that day, so the dirt was super loose and, and pretty sketchy to be honest. So I almost slid into a tree the first time I went down it. Luckily, didn't die, but I did see a couple of people walking this obstacle, which was actually surprising to me since they're at a bike park and they're still fucking casuals, bro. But this obstacle wasn't too bad to overcome. And after the rock garden, you could fly down a hill and into some really big jumps, which I think were probably the biggest jumps at the park. But despite that, they weren't super difficult. You just had to go into them with a lot of speed. And they were very forgiving jumps. It is on a blue trail, so. And the first time I landed these jumps, I was super fucking, I was ecstatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
next trail is another blue trail called Tarantula with some massive wooden features on it that are super fun, including a wall ride with the Texas flag on it. And honestly, these features make you feel like you're on a roller coaster. It is a really cool feeling that I, that I can't fully describe, actually. But this trail is super short, but it's definitely a highlight of the park. Now there was one jump on this trail that was super long and for some reason I could never find the speed to hit it and clear it. So I decided on one attempt that I was gonna go for broke and get as much speed as I possibly could. And as you know, you gotta go hard to get hard. And I might have gone a little bit too hard, which is a common problem of mine. But this is what happened. I hit the rim on the front tire. The front tire is still good. I bombed the shit out of my suspension though. So apparently I had way too much speed and completely overshot the landing. Landing flat, somehow managed to keep it together. Didn't die, always a good sign. And somehow nothing was wrong with my bike, which was really impressive. But of course after this, I had to go back and do it again with the right amount of speed. So this video is getting a little bit long, so we're going to cover two more blue jump trails. They're pretty fun, and if you want to see me hit the black diamond and the dull black diamond trail, those are going to be in part two of this video. So if part two is already out, you should go watch it. Uh, if it isn't, do it. Just wait a week. But anyway, these last two jump trails don't have any particularly huge or massive jumps, but all the jumps they do have are pretty technical, and technical meaning that you either come out of a berm and go straight into a jump, or you hit a jump that goes directly into a berm. So you have to be really prepared, really agile on your bike. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to master all of the jumps on these trails, simply because I ran out of time. It turns out, eight hours of straight mountain biking wasn't enough time. So I will definitely have to make another trip out here just to master some of these more technical jumps. But these trails are super fun, so let's get to it. jump is a sander. Now I want to say one more thing before I end the video and you've probably been seeing me hitting all these crazy jumps and thinking to yourself that there's no way I want to go to this bike park. There's too many crazy jumps. I, I don't have the ability to do that. I'm just not good enough yet. But the thing is is that most people at this bike park don't actually know how to hit the jumps or do the wall rides and that's okay because this place is perfect for learning how to do jumps and getting better at mountain biking overall. Because normally at a jump track, when you go downhill, you have to climb back up, which usually takes a lot longer than actually going down the hill and hitting all the jumps. So you're able to get way more runs in than you would ever be able to get in at a normal jump track where you have to climb your way back to the top. So this is honestly the best place to learn how to hit jumps and just get better at downhill mountain biking. And if you've never been to a lift access bike park before, I cannot recommend it enough. It is honestly some of the most fun you can have on a mountain bike. So if you're scared to go to this bike park, 
just because you think you're not good enough or you can't complete any of the jumps here, that's actually the exact reason why you should go to this bike park. Because you can learn so much faster at a bike park than you can at a normal trail. And you're going to have a lot more fun doing it. And you're not going to be able to get any better if you don't try. So stop being a casual, stop making excuses, and just go out there and mountain bike. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe to see part 2, where I'll be going on the Black Diamond and the Double Black Diamond Trail. And if you have a suggestion for places for me to go, uh, you should leave in the comments below. And as always, you gotta go hard to get hard. Thanks for watching.